Hear ye, hear ye. What's up, everybody? It is Matt from Electric All Wheel. Let's get back to the hear ye's. By royal decree of the Underwriters Laboratory, that's, that's UL, if you were wondering, the Velotrick bike and everyone in charge of this company, Velo Power, said, we will be UL certified. We will be IPX7. We will have a bike that is IPX6 rated. We will, well, I will, go ahead and time myself by dunking the battery in a bucket of water before I even put the bike together. One meter, 30 minutes is what I have. That's how I'm going to do it. UL certification 2271 recognizes that Velotrig, aka Velo Power Incorporated, has the certification for the battery. UL24 or UL2849 says the safety standards of electric bicycles developed by the UL Underwriters Laboratory is a covered system of standards that addresses the electrical system of the e-bikes and it focuses on the safety and performance in particular relation to electrical shock you know putting it in water and fire and mechanical hazards so yeah i figured the best thing we can do is uh put their metal to the test this should be fun traditional unboxing gonna have the rack I am going to take the battery out as soon as I can find I'm assuming that it's going to be easy to access and I'm just going to yank it out and then I have a bucket of water and I'll show it to you. Uh, after that, we're going to pressure wash it because, you know, IPX6, why not? UL2271, UL2849. Uh, and then that's their certificate number, right? So all of them, all of their bikes are certified. I looked up the list. I got on there, the, the UL IQ standards subscription site. I didn't pay for the membership, but I did that thing. So I'm excited. This is a paid promotion. Velotrick did send me this bike, but uh, we're not going to hold back. We're just going to see what's what. Have a brand new Electric XP 3.0. We're going to rack it up next to this thing, and we'll, we'll see what's going on. Probably a series of videos. It won't be this video because this is just for fun. I'm going to play with electrical things in water because that sounds safe. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary. And if you're in the area, check out e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Get in that Facebook group, make an event, go for a ride with your e-bike friends. Do not, under any circumstances, put your e-bike batteries in water. Oh my gosh. Do not follow my lead unless it's awesome. Here we go. I don't normally read the instructions for these sorts of things. I did read all up on the UL certification and go into the website and I validated the certification number for Velo Power. Uh, checked the bikes on the list, and the fold is on there, so I'm pretty happy about this. One of the things that I noticed about this is I was able to, like, I hoisted this like He-Man, and it wasn't much of a problem, and the box held up. Even the handles on the box didn't rip out while I was lifting this thing up, and I just picked it up and put it on the back of the golf cart so I could get it out to Tarp and Tom's and then back to my place so we could shoot this recording. So I, I really like that. I also noticed that these stickers are huge, and not only did VeloPower, VeloTrick pay for the UL certification for each model, oh my gosh, I can't even imagine the amount, of, the amount of money, but they have to pay for the stickers too, and that ain't cheap. So uh, there is a lot of invested interest in making sure that these bikes will stand the test of time, and I can appreciate that, and you see it straight away, right off the bat, with the packaging and how well that's done, and then with their service. So kudos to that. And I'm like, I haven't even opened the bike yet. Yeah. There's a spider. A spider has taken up residence. Where is he? Oh man, can you guys see him? Yeah, there he is. All right, buddy, you're gonna have to go. All right, so looks pretty well packaged and I am uh, already trying to explore to see where the battery is. I wonder if it's in the case already. Yeah, it is, it's already in the bike, there it is. So what I'll do is I'll lift it out. Here's the keys. I'm gonna get my hands on those and then I'll just key it out and then get it on the rack. And then we'll start our countdown with said bucket of water. And then we'll give her a good wash with the old power washer. <laughs>
So right now I'm just taking out the keys. Keys in my pocket. Whammo. Mm. There it is. Looks like I'm going to have to undo this one. <laughs> oh, oh man. Let's just, let's see. I don't even know, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's for Scott. Uh, Scott is the first person I heard of that did it. Now, I believe that he took his velo trick and just tossed it in a pond. We're not going to do that, but we're going to rock with the IPX7 rating, which says this thing can be submerged for 30 minutes, one meter deep. Of course, this isn't a meter deep on the box, but it gets the job done and it's definitely underwater. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Here we go. The real question is, can I get this done in 30 minutes? We don't need those stinking instructions either. Let's see, I'm removing the ones that kind of hold the fold together. And so they're keeping it from unfolding. And then, there we go. Probably not the best idea to let the, uh, the wiring hang the handlebars, but you know, since we're just durability testing everything right now, let's do it. Cool. Listen, I know that I said, don't be like me. And I really mean that, honestly, you guys read the instructions or whatever it comes with. I'm sure there's some good literature and some good step-by-step -step instructions to follow while you're getting this thing unboxed. I've unboxed a few e-bikes and uh, I generally follow the man code of no instruction manuals ever. So we'll see if it is that intuitive as we're putting it together. <laughs> That's nice. That was a really solid feel when you like put the latch on. Just clicks well. I don't know if that makes sense. Clicks well? Is that a thing? Just in case you forgot, I put the battery in water. <laughs> I'm still scared. Zip ties everywhere. Brad would not like the fact that I am just cutting all of these zip ties. He likes to save them. I like the color. Look at the bottle cage mounts. They got double dipped right here. Look at them. Um, charger. Yup. I'm going to say 3 amp. I'm going to guess 3 amp. No, 2. Slow charge. General industry standard, 2 amp charger. That's okay. That's what I have for most every other bike. Those are nice. And those are really nice. These are very big. For the collapsible pedals. I like that a lot. I got big feet, so that helps. This be my license to dunk said bike in water, uh, also for the pressure washing. Just don't want to miss anything while we're washing. Still nervous, but uh, the battery's already in water, so let's just go ahead and finish off the job. Yeah. Oh, oh, I missed, I missed some. What is this attached to? Nothing. Okay. IPX6 for the win. Wait. 
Don't forget the display and your thumb throttle and your gear shift, right? Especially want to clean up all the connections for everything that's going to shoot a little electricity anywhere. Because that's very important. Got to make sure it's clean. Just a little extra on the motor. Excellent. Baby's bottom. Oliver, all of this is for you. Uh, we haven't talked since I got this thing and uh, I'm still alive, so all is well. We're really hoping that the bike is better off than, than what I would presume it would be with all this water, but I have faith in all the claims. This UL certification gives me a lot of faith and a lot of belief in what it is. And honestly, uh, I just wasted a bunch of water because I'm almost positive it's gonna work. Here we go. Let me see here. Can it? Can I rest it? There. Yeah. Some... I'm just gonna place it on the bucket of water. There we go. Oh, accident. Oops. My bad. I'm gonna use the cleanest rag in the shed. <laughs> it's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so this is probably the most insane, crazy, awesome feeling I've ever had in regards to an e-bike. And I can't believe that all that just happened. And, you know, just to prove that that's what it is, we're just going to go ahead and, yeah. <laughs> this is great. Okay. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary. And if you're in the area, check out eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Get in the Facebook group, make an event, and go for a ride with your eBike friends. We are going to come back with a review of this Velotric Fold. Um, that's awesome. I, I can't believe I just did that. We'll talk to you next time.